In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, some mathematical functions. Uh, most of these are in uh, a different library called math.h. Okay, so we need to add at the top of our program uh, this line. Now, in this interface, we need to put uh, math.in. Uh, H like that between double quotes. Uh, previously, I've generally seen uh, math.h put in like this between sort of greater than and less than signs. Um, so, or less than and greater than signs, depending on your point of view. So, um, I'm also going to um, hash include uh, standard library dot h standard. And again, I would normally see that included. Uh, like this. Okay, so um, first of all, I have to confess that I um, didn't quite um, do things properly before. I cheated a bit calculating this difference because I knew that n4 is 45 and n3 is 42 so I knew m4 minus n3 was going to be positive. Now um, if we calculate it the other way around n3 minus n4 and we run the program then the difference between m4 and m3 is equal to minus 3 and that's not um, really correct because normally a difference is always positive so um, what we're going to do is uh, the reason I included standard library.h is we can then use this function abs that takes the absolute value it means that if the number inside the brackets is negative it makes it positive and returns a value which is the same value but positive if the number is already positive then it'll just return the same value okay so uh, the only thing I've done is to um, put oh dear what did I do there the only thing to do is put this little abs function around the n3 minus n4 and if we run it now now the number here is coming out as positive 3 where it was negative 3 before okay so that's an example of a useful uh, function this one actually comes from this library here standard library um, one point to note it's particularly clear here what we do when we have a function we send a number to this function so abs tells the computer we're going to use the function and then the brackets is what gets sent to the function okay so for example when we have printf here or in any of these statements we always have brackets with something that's sent to that function so in this case it's a simple function that takes uh, a number and returns a positive value so 10 would give 10 minus 10 would also give 10 and here minus 3 is giving us 3 okay so that's a function this works for integers if you want to use the same thing for doubles oops for doubles we would use f abs and then you can put sort of energy in or temperature or uh, angle or whatever you want and it will convert it from a negative number to a positive number so for doubles we need to use fabs now uh, the next thing that we're going to do is have a look at a couple of functions in the math library now you can look up what's in the maths library but we're just going to take two examples here now here is a one example I've already put in there. So we were calculating before the, the mass, which is uh, 2 times the energy times velocity squared. In fact, 
when we're looking at casting, we put this in front of it as well. But if we want to find the velocity from the energy and the mass, then we need to use this equation, which is taking uh, 2 times the energy, dividing it by the mass, and taking the square root of this. Now, one way of doing this is using the power function. So we use power, take the uh, 2 times the energy, divide by the mass, and we want to raise it to the power of 0 0.5, which is the same as taking the square root. Now, I'll change this so that it says calculate the velocity. I'll put the velocity in there. Now, of course, if we're taking something to the power of half or taking the square root, we're always going to put, get a positive answer. So it's really a speed, but we'll still call it velocity anyway here. Okay, so uh, the mass is uh, 10 and the energy is 50. And we're getting a velocity out of 3.16 there. So... 2 times the energy, 2 times energy is 2 times 50, so that's 100, divided by the mass, which is 10, means in, so what we're taking the square root of is 100, and to, uh, sorry, 100 divided by 10, so 100 divided by 10 is 10, square root of 10 is just over 3, so that looks like everything's worked okay. Now, power is quite a general thing, we can also do the same thing, with SQRT, then we only need to send one number. We don't need to send the second one after the comma. We're just taking the square root, and that will work like that. Okay. So there are other um, functions uh, in Math.h, a few of them, like you can take the sine of an angle or cosine the angle. Now this works in radians. Let's actually print something out here. Just uh, we'll extend this print statement and put another bit into it. And cosine of the angle equals percent g comma sine angle equals G. Now we need to have put those numbers in there. Now I'm going to cheat. Rather than just putting them into a different variable, I'm going to just plonk them in here. Now we have a variable called angle, which was defined above. And it gets um, printed out. Where is it? Here. Now if you remember, it was... Um, the value, the angle was the value. I get this thing to. Anyway, it doesn't want to do that. So the value of the angle was uh, 3.141. That's pi divided by 4. So pi by 4. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so we put the square root in and we have uh, the same velocity there. And cosine of the angle and sine of the angle, they're both coming out at 1 over root 2 because, oh, I forgot to put in here a new line character. Okay, now let's move that down. And um, so uh, these numbers are both uh, 1 over root 2. Because our angle, let's see where it's defined, is um, it's actually up here. I'll put it on the new line. So angle is equal to the value of pi divided by 4, pi by 4. That's the same as uh, 45 degrees. Now if we change this, let's change it to pi by 3 and run it again. And now we get cosine is 0.5 and sine is root 3 over 2, which is this number here. And if we just take one more angle to show this working, pi by 2, same as 90 degrees. So, um, and as it's, it's 
expected we get sine is equal to 1 cosine we expect to get 0 now this is a good point now there's two reasons why this isn't 0 but first of all let's point out that this is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 9 so this is actually a very very small number so it's nearly 0 and there are two reasons it's not exactly 0 the first is my value for pi is not 100% accurate but secondly and more importantly um, there will always be some sort of numerical small numerical errors in the calculation and in this case when we're trying to calculate something which should be zero then any slight deviation from the number we expect um, is, is going to give us a, a slight error now what I can illustrate that to say well in fact this number here is one for the sign but I bet it's actually one point something or slightly below one and we can ch test that by saying we're going to print out here sine of the angle minus one so that should come to be zero and slightly we'll put it in the printf as well so I don't know I haven't tried this before let's see what happens oh okay in this case the sign does come out at zero so um, anyway so uh, I was completely wrong about that uh, in this case that there's so little rounding error that it's all absolutely fine um, so I'm going to take out that minus one tell you what we might do though is we might try just trying the angle as pi and see what happens with that ah so now cosine is minus one and sine should be zero and that's coming out at some really small number there okay so that's uh some examples standard library gives you the absolute value for integers and math.h uh, gives you things like cosine sine power and lots of other mathematical functions